Electric rice cooker. Nice. Oh, yeah. Three yeah. Rice Ever do like generation. <laughs> Almost every every Asian family has one. Definitely has one rice yeah, cooker. Yeah, Correct. Yeah. Uh, at least one. At least one. <laughs> the novel. The, novel. the oh. tale of Genji, written in 11th century Japan, is considered the first novel ever written. Really? No it way! Was written yeah. Yeah. Walkman. Oh, yeah. Walkman. Oh, yeah. Walkman. Oh, yeah. Walkman. Oh, yeah. Walkman. Yeah. Walkman. So Genji has been around so for cool. a while. It's just a household name now. Yeah, like the Walkman's walk like, oh, I'm gonna take my Walkman with me so I can go on a jog. But I didn't know that it was Japanese. Let's find out! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. で、世界で有名な日本で発明されたものは。ああ。QR うん。<笑><笑> Throughout history, Japan has created some of civilization's most important inventions. <gasps> Rice cooker, then tonics. Their inventions permeate our culture, entertainment, and everyday life. In modern no, times, they've been no. pioneers in the technology sector, creating devices that we now take for granted. CDs! Mm. Uh, uh, the same without them. Curious to see what Japan has contributed to society? Yes, yeah. yes. Mike, it was 25. And here are 25 most incredible Japanese inventions throughout history. Tell me more, my friend. Who's that? 25. Rickshaw. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. People that carry other people around. This clever and simple invention is called a rickshaw, and it was first invented by the Japanese in 1860. It was an expensive and popular mode of transportation at that time. It also got to be a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> <laughs> Japan, there are Yes. Then, you know, in the Indo, you know, it's a lot of people who are in the Indo, 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 when you talked about like um, a rickshaw moving on its own, I was just imagining a robot taking the rickshaw. <laughs> <laughs> That's my like, That's too expensive to get a robot. Well, that is true. <laughs> That's true. Twenty-four. Instant ramen. Oh, oh, so, oh yeah. 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 Well, you can thank the Japanese for this amazing so invention. Thank you, Japanese. Uncle Ando invented it after seeing the destruction caused by World War II. Really? Ramen oh. was first sold in 1958. And college dorms have never been the same. True. <laughs> true. Very true. The novel. The, novel. the tale of Genji, written in 11th century Japan, is considered the first novel ever written. Really? No it way! It was written in yeah. Yeah. Murasaki Shikibu, and is about a handsome aristocrat and his many romances. 22. Genji! Katana. Well, yeah, yeah. So that's what an earlier version of the Katana sword <laughs> was brought over to Japan from China, the version we know today was made much lighter and master crafted by the Japanese, Correct. and used by samurai warriors. It first appeared in the Muromachi period from 1392 to 1573. Mm. Now, if we were at my house, I have an actual katana. But this will do. Yeah. It's probably just as dangerous. Katana 21. <laughs> Imari Porcelain. Imari in Porcelain. In Japan in the 16th century, Imari Porcelain was a popular export by the Dutch East Indian Trading Company. It was discovered and made by the potter Ri Sampe. 20. Mm. Microcomputer. The oh. SORB 8008, invented and developed in 1972, was the first microcomputer. While it was an initial failure and never went into production, it was a great leap forward for computers. 19. Okay. Walkman. Oh, yeah. 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 Walkman. Oh,
Sony figured out how to put cassette tapes into a compact box that would let you listen to music on the go. They called it the Walkman and released it in 1979. The device helped cassette tapes outsell vinyl for the first time in history. Wow. That's such a household name now. Yeah, like the Walkman's walk like, oh, I'm gonna take my Walkman with me so I can go on a jog. But yeah. I didn't know that it was Japanese. この時代もめちゃくちゃすごい発明だったって聞いたことあるよ、うん、だって今までその外に持って行って聞くなんてカセットをねあの考えがあんまなかったらしいからありがとうございます,す、ね、日本って IT 系が強いかなと思ってたからコンピューターのことばっか出てくるんかなと思ったら、うん、歴史もう深いから、うん、だから歴史ある内容とかが出てきて面白いっす、うん、ナイス The novel one was really surprising、yeah. ね Lean manufacturing. I don't know why. Oh. Developed by steady. Toyota in post World War II Japan, TPM. the lean manufacturing system, or just in time system, came out of studying Ford's manufacturing system、mm. but adjusting it to fit their own needs. Interesting. The goal of the system was to reduce waste while maintaining productivity. It's now a fairly commonplace system.、Mm. Okay, what? What, I don't understand. But what is lean manufacturing?、Like uh, it's, they're, they're, I think they call it Toyota production、uh, management. So, they have this just this like just in time uh, uh, just in time system so that、uh, everything can go smoothly in each procedure. For example, if I had a lot of this stock, so I just put a Kanban, and then the other party will so, sure will see what I lack of, then it just reacts straight away. So, there will be, no, there will be less inventory,、mm-hmm. and everything will be smoothly. I mean, all the, the supply chain will go smoothly, and they, they can get a very efficient. Production,、uh, yeah. efficient life. Yeah, for example, they saw a flaw in the Ford manufacturing system where at the end there would be somebody hammering the door down so that it would fit. And then with lean manufacturing, they just made the door fit exactly to where it needed to go.、Mm-hmm. So then it eliminates the need for a person altogether. Yeah, so you would see things like that.、Yeah. So it would just go sm- more smoothly in terms of manufacturing. I see, I see. I see.、Oh. So yeah, it's actually invented by the Toyota. And、oh, yeah. then I think Ford. Car manufacturing company saw this system and then try in US and、oh, it becomes、right. very, very, very big thing in、oh, right. yeah. the whole、uh, manufacturing industry.、Oh. Yes. 製造業のそういう考え方というかシステムシステム Right. 今基本そういうシステムみんな統一してる。CDs, DVDs, and Blu ray.、Oh. Oh. Compact discs were invented by both Sony and Philips, which is a Dutch company. They debated the smaller details, but eventually agreed on what we have today. And 115 millimeter disc that holds 74 minutes of storage. Of course, later, Sony would go on to develop both DVDs and wage war against HD DVD with their superior Blu ray disc. 16.、Mm. Programmable drum machine. Oh, yeah. Nice! Takahashi,、nice. the Roland TR 808 was the first programmable drum machine. When it hit the market in 1980, it revolutionized music and was particularly popular for its bass drum. The 808, sound familiar? 15. Karaoke. Karaoke. My favorite. In 1969. But he didn't have a product to go to market until 1971. At first, it wasn't the biggest hit. But eventually, bars all over Japan wanted them. And while he did invent the machine, he technically never invented the term karaoke. It came from the phrase Karaoke Sutra, which means empty orchestra. It was、oh. shortly karaoke and stuck. 14. Emoji. emoji.、Oh. Of course. Emoji. You、movie. have the Japanese to thank for those emoji on your phone. Created by Shigetaka Kurita and his team at company NTT Docomo, the <laughs> blog is trained with using only text as a way to communicate information. They developed images to represent emotions as a solution.、Mm. 13. Eggplant. Camcorder.、Uh. While handheld video recording devices had been around since the 50s, Sony released the very first camcorder in 1983. It recorded everything on a Betamax tape and was much simpler than previous ways of recording movies. Betamax tape, huh? Electric rice cooker. Nice. Oh, yeah. Electric rice cooker was invented by Shiba in 1955. <laughs> the cooker totally revolutionized Japanese households by 1960. And by 1970, they continued to evolve with microcomputers capable of adjusting temperatures. I like how he just has one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah basically, every Asian, country, every Asian family has one.、Oh, yeah, you have. He tried to look for rice? I think so, yeah. <laughs> was... He just started trying to look for rice in there. It was unplugged. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Almost every, every Asian family has one. Definitely has one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah.
At, at least one. At least one. <laughs> not, not a few. Yes. I think we had like three or something. <laughs> we were pretty big ones, like this yeah. big at my house. でもすごいよね。だってご飯を食べるのって、まあアジアの国々でいっぱい食べるじゃん。日本のご飯とさ、ちょっと違う感じもするじゃん。タイマイとか。とでも日本で炊飯器が発明されて、それが他の国に渡って、みんな使ってるってことすごい。Dude, I can eat rice for the rest of my life. Honestly, like that is like from born all the way to your old. And it's so, it's, you can do so much with rice, man. 11. Camera phone. Well, oh, camera phone. Having a camera on your mobile phone is commonplace, but back in 1999, it was unheard of. Kyocera Corporation, the Japanese company, released the first cell phone with a camera. They called it the Visual Phone VP210, and it could store up to 20 JPEG images. Wow, so many. Ten. <laughs> a lot. Portable EKG. Oh. oh. The EKG became much easier to carry around thanks to the Japanese. In 1937, Tao Takemi invented the first portable electrocardiogram machine. Many of the same basic principles of the machine are still in use today. Nine. Mm, pocket calculator. That's a calculator. Calculators have been around for a long, long time. But the first microchip based pocket calculator was invented by the Japanese company Busicom in 1970. あのカルクレーターの話は本当はもっともっとは TI がそういう技術を持ってたんですよ。TI ってどこテキサス・インストゥメントなんで知ってるみんな。Because they use my school. It's the United States company. 持ってったけどコンシューマーがそ,ういうそ,んなそこまで使わないなと思っててはそのまま開発してな,してなくて、うん、日本人がそれを開発してめっちゃ大成功になったんですよその電卓の技術はあって、うん、それを消費者向けには作ってなくて、うん、ああそうマスメディア、うん、あんまりいらないと思っててで,で,でそれを日本が日本が開発して打ったらめっちゃ人気になったって感じでした<笑>そういうチャンスが取られた目の付けどころがねそうそうそうそう日本は発明よだからあのエジソンの曲が出てた<笑>ジソンシーン,<笑>ジ,ソンシーえジソンジソンシーンちょっと今日初めて口開いたと思ったらこのこと<笑> Blue LED light <笑> Japanese inventors Isamu Akasaki, Hiroshi Amano and Shuji Nakamura made the first blue light emitting diode in the 1990s which propelled all the LED products we see today They later received the Nobel Peace Prize for their invention. Wow. Seven. <laughs> Lithium ion battery. Oh, nice. Changed my life. Asahi Kase did significant work on the rechargeable lithium ion battery technology,、yeah. modifying earlier studies done on it, and with the help of Sony Corporation, allowed it to reach the consumer marketplace. Six. That's what's on our camera. QR code. Oh, that's the one! I'm going to use a QR code now to get information about a company or product. Originally, it was invented in 1994 by a Toyota subsidiary called Denso Wave to help with the manufacturing process. Nice. QR code とかさ、どこでも使ってるじゃん。使ってる。Oh, yeah. すごいよね。Yeah, especially restaurant menus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, 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 Well, no one technically invented CRISPR, a, a powerful gene editing technique.、Mm -hmm. In 1987, Yoshizumi Ishino and his team at Osaka University discovered it. <laughs> Unfortunately, at the time, they didn't really understand what they had discovered. However, their study laid the groundwork for what was to come. CRISPR? CRISPR? I don't know. Gene, gene editing? I can have an extra arm? It's a method to gene editing. It's easy for DNA. They cut, they, it's like something cut, cut your DNA, then attach it to some, some other places or something. So I can be a dolphin? <laughs> If you want. I want to be a dolphin. CRISPR. So DNA is easy to cut it easily. It's like a cut, 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 cut,
。よく聞くエロは日本人発明した場所、初めて見つけたんですよ、ね。僕も知らなかった。すいません、<笑>勉強でした。<笑>すごいなと思って。4。3D printing might seem like a new phenomenon, but the technology has been around for a while. In 1981, at the Nagoya Municipal Industrial Research Institute, Hideo Kadama published his idea of a rapid prototyping system see, using photopolymers.、Oh, see, see. It was the first concept for a 3D printer. The concept was the first concept for a 3D printer. The concept was the first concept for a 3D printer. The concept was the first concept for a 3D printer. <laughs> in the United States after the invention of the car. However, in Japan, they came back in a big way. Japan invented and unveiled the first high speed rail line, or the bullet train, from Tokyo to Osaka in 1964.、Mm. This invention gained worldwide popularity, especially in densely populated areas in need of fast mass transit. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought there's also this high speed、uh, train in、uh, France before、oh, yeah. Shinkansen. 今ちょっとインターネット見たら、うん、高速鉄道を最初に開発した国はドイツ。うん、だけど、うん、実際に世界で初めて営業運転を開始したのは日本らしい。ああ、I see. なるほど、なるほど。でもめっちゃテストしてさ、危険性とか取り除いて最初にやるって日本っぽいよね、なんか。そう、確かに。Just like a Shinkansen, huh? Did you know that the Shinkansen was actually modeled after several animals? Because they、yeah. first entrusted it to engineers and they couldn't find out the problem and how to make sure it was aerodynamic. But the nose of the Shinkansen is actually modeled after the famous kingfisher, which uses the beak to dive in the water without a splash. And that is where the nose came from. And on top of that, on the top, there is also,、uh, it is modeled after one of、uh, the penguins that exist because they're able to slide and therefore making it more aerodynamic. よくしてるね。すごくない<笑>知ってる<笑>日本好きすぎでしょ。Two. Flash memory. Nice. Flash memory, which isn't the ability to recall facts about the flash, allows your cell phones and smartphones to store data like music, pictures, and video. Without it, you can kiss your smartphone goodbye. Goodbye. Fujio Masaoka, who worked at Toshiba at the time, invented flash memory in 1984 to solve the problem of storing and holding data whether a device was turned on or off. We're using that right now. And s e r i a l robots. Developed at Waseda University in Japan, the world's first Android robot was、mm. called Wabot One. It was made in 1970, had artificial ears, a mouth, and eyes, and was able to lift objects. <gasps> wow. I don't think it could outlift me or Eric, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kachu! <laughs> 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 oh man, that was cool. That was a nice,、yeah. little, nice little list. The thing I found kind of fun is that, like, a lot of these inventions, there's like a version of that thing already existing, but Japan like, made the pocket version,、mm. like the small <laughs> version, the portable version of whatever thing. Oh, yeah. yeah that happened like,、yeah. a few times in this, right? And I thought to myself, like, that's very, very innovative. Oh, yeah, innovative, very like Japan. まあ、自分も思うけど、日本って、ゼロから1を作るっていうよりは、こう1を100とかにするのがすごい得意な気がするよね。で、それに結構、自分も誇りを持ってるし、今の日本もそこにもう一回注目して、なんかいろいろ取り入れて作ったらいいんじゃないかなって思うよね。I'm surprised they didn't show any inventions about video games or anything like that. Yeah, I was thinking, I think, like, the Game Boy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, those are obvious, but, like, what about, like, the ones that I play? Um, g a m e r から claim it. Hi, ということで今日は海外で有名な日本で発明されたものについての動画を見てみましたどうだった面白い面白い面白い Japan No.1 Japan No.1 Is it cool? I feel like, well, I'm about to get on Shinkansen so it's gonna be, I'm gonna see that invention in person Zoom That makes sense Japan is really cool to see the world in the world 改めて思った今日僕がみんなにこの動画見せたかったみたいになってる<笑>違います<笑>いやいやいや<笑>全然初めて見ましたから<笑>他に僕らにリアクションしてほしい動画があればコメント欄までよろしくお願いしますお願いしますそれでは次の動画でまたお会いしましょうバイバーイ Channel 登録をね。い。し
します。<笑>